Okay, so let's proceed with the highest level. Uh, so this is the first highest level, which is the starting level. We are in the lobby of the corporate building and we can start with our first turn. What you need to do uh, be, before you will start is to put an initiative pairs uh, to the enemies. Initiative pair means that the initiative has two numbers. Uh, basically, there are, every time there are three enemies uh, at the map. Enemies can appear in the map. Uh, but we will cover it later on. But at first, assign those three numbers, uh, those three pairs of numbers to those uh, to those um, soldiers, to those enemies. So we will assign from the uh, from the top. So here will be five, six, three, four, and one, two. We will see later on why we did it. Important thing is assign initiative pairs right now before you start. So there are three pairs, right? Five, six, four, three, one, two, corresponding to the D6. Okay, let's start your turn. At first, you will roll your action, action, uh, action, action dice. So, high turn. I will, I will show you the uh, the rule book where you will find it. You will also find it on your, on your character sheet here. So. Action roll. Roll 5d6. Always 5d6. Never more, never less. And now you are trying to check in up pairs. The number right now doesn't uh, are not as important right now, but maybe later on we will cover that later. So for now, I uh, we have 2 2 and 3 3, but you have Yatsu style two rerolls. I will try to get into more threes, so I will reroll those three dice. Whoa, which is incredible. Okay, I will not show you too much with this amazing roll, but I will show you what will happen with this roll. Okay, so here you have actions that you can perform. Uh, you will see with this black square how many dice uh, this is the dice cost of the action so you can pay a dice from your from this pool to do that action uh, there is not any uh, there is not any uh, number uh, with this associated so you just if you want to slide you will just remove one dice and you will move two squares and this will raise the alertness by two uh, there are those actions that can be enhanced if you will use more dice. Right now I have five dice, five, um, the five dice with the same number, so I can use KO an enemy, which I have in the line of fire, or I can move anywhere. <laughs> okay, so right now I will spend those five dice to move anywhere. So I will move directly to the intel. I am moving directly there. And I will raise right now the alertness by one, which means I will, uh, I will put alert like here. So I will raise the alertness, I will track it here. I will track the alertness with this die. So I am alertness by one. This is the end of my turn because I spent all of my dice. And at the end of each turn, raise the alertness by one. And let's let's speak a bit about alertness levels. There are three levels of alertness. First is unaware. You can find all of all things about alertness here in the alertness. So first is unaware. Unaware means that the enemies are not aware about the presence an unaware state is until you will hit this uh, this uh, 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 this square in the track so right now we are here one two we are here so we are in the unaware state at this uh, here at the, uh, in the seventh uh, square in the alertness track in the seven checkbox um, the game, uh, the, the enemies will be cautious. And when it hits 14th, 
it will be the alert. It will the the game will set the game will uh, will uh, will change to the alert state. So the enemy behavior will drastically change. They will just move ASAP to the line of fire and start shooting at you. And those do, do, who do not have the ranged weapons will try to get into the melee contact with you and beat you down. But we are far from it. We are just here. We are cautious. So the enemies are going. And uh, and the enemies are going. Enemies have their own action dice pool. And it's the enemy action dice. So, uh, so you will roll the action dice for the enemy. And this is different than in your turn here you will set the pairs one and twos op, uh, four and fives uh five and six and three and fours so i have one two two three four four and five six there is none so this guy will not do anything in its turn because we have four, three, two, two, one, and we have initiative pairs, which is five, six, four, three, and one, two. So start with the with the dice with the highest number. That means four. So he is four, and every enemy has two actions: major action, which means the biggest number, bigger number, and minor action, which means the lowest number. You can find all those things in the enemy's turn. So, okay. So, they uh, they have two states. First state is a patrol when they are just on the patrol. And the second state is engage. They are in the engage state when the alert, uh, during the alert. But during the unaware state in the awareness track, which is this, and during cautious, they are still on patrol. They are not using engage actions. So they are on patrol. So we will we will see. Um, we will see. Uh, we have in the patrol. They have only two actions, major and minor. And those both are only moves, no shooting, until they will get into line of fire with you. So, uh, so line of fire uh, until until you will step in their line of sight. They have three line of sights depend on the status. If they are unaware, if the alertness track is unaware, they can see only in front of them this line in front of them so he is seeing this he is seeing in this uh, uh, in this column he is seeing uh, this road he is seeing this column and so on so always check the facing of the figures so we will doing their uh, we will doing their actions so three and four will do first with the ford which is a major action and the major action for the patrol is move it's major move so move the enemy two spaces forward so we will move him two spaces forward and then he uh, then he will th that was his that he was his major action if uh, if he will be here and you will need to do this major action and move two so he will move here so it's one and he will rotate to the first a uh, free non obstacle uh non obstacle position so uh, the, the his first position is this uh sorry uh, he will he will rotate clockwise uh, to the first position where he can go so he is moving here it's one then he will rotate so he can move again, so here. Always rotate them clockwise. And then he is doing his minor action, and his minor action is rotate him 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so he's not moving, so he's not need to pivot again. So he is rotating like this. Now he's uh, this enemy is going with his 
major action, which is one, two. Then one, two. Even I was adjacent to them, he didn't check me because he has only this line of sight. It's for the tactical uh, purposes uh, of the game idea. And then there is a minor action and minor action is rotate him clockwise 90 degrees. So he's rotating like that. And that was the whole enemy turn. So we can do again our own turn. So let's start again. Let's start the turn. So I roll this thing, which is amazing roll again. Those trees. First reroll, second reroll. Okay. Okay. So I roll this thing. I have three. I have uh, triple, and I have four and five singles. So what I can, what can I do right now is, um. I will use a unique action. What does it mean, a unique action? Okay. So, unique actions, we will cover them in the next video.